Good day, beautiful beings. Welcome back to Spiritual Self Mastery. Today we're at Toronto Pearson Airport. Woo! <laughs> About to take this beautiful flight from Toronto Pearson to Lima, Peru. Stay tuned. Wish me luck. <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> right now, let me walk all of you down here this international airport, Charlotte Douglas International Airport. Okay, so let's take a little walk down, my friends. <laughs> okay, so let me talk to you about the craziest freaking synchronicity luck and also just like pure insane spiritual and struggles I've been dealing with, okay? So when I arrived in Toronto, okay, so let me put you in context, okay? So when I arrived originally, when I called American Airlines because I booked my whole flight through Expedia because I'm unjapped. <laughs> so because of that, that puts me at a big disadvantage. But I looked online and they were saying that uh, apparently they, they lifted the restrictions and everything and everything was good. And that I could actually fly through the layovers no problem on the website. So, okay, I was like, great, awesome, right? A little music here, huh? Oh, might get a copyright problem. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about this. So, 
basically, I tried booking online, okay? And then uh, I even called American Airlines because I was afraid that I couldn't take my flight after I booked it through Expedia. And it was saying that I could actually go, uh, you know, take my layovers, no problem. So I called American Airlines and they basically told me, oh yeah, no problem, sir. I know on the website it says that you need it and everything. Uh, rules may change, but right now you're uh, no problem. I can confirm to you that yes, you can uh, fly even if you're not. I know many people that did it, uh, even if they're not, you know, pokey poke. So I was like, okay, that's interesting. Okay, so that was reassuring, but you know, something in the back of my head was like, no, 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 because I looked on the CDC's website in American Airlines and they haven't updated their policy. And it still said that, you know, for international travelers that are not US residents, they do need to be, you know, up to date on their vaccinations, whatever that means, right? <laughs> Into that, uh, that weird, uh, that little weird uh, jabby jab they wanted us, right? That I never took and I'm gonna fight till the rest of my life for my body sovereignty because that's important, my friends. <laughs> so, okay, so let's talk about that. So I arrived at, at Toronto International Airport, okay? And uh, first thing they asked me was like, do you have your green pass? I was like, what? I thought I was allowed. I even spoke to American Airlines and I told them all about this, right? That they told me that I, I was allowed and everything and that, uh, that but then the, the workers there, they told me that Basically, the, <laughs> the only exemptions that were allowed were the ones for medical exemptions, right? With a no from the doctor. And uh, basically, I didn't have that, right? So I was like, great. My heart was pumping. I was like, what? I paid for all this flight for nothing, right? So anyways, so yeah, they should, the girl at the counter told me that, yeah, no, you're not allowed, you can't come in and everything. And I was like, well, that's, that's fun to know now Then I'm at the airport. And I was like, great, now I can't even take my flight. I guess I'm going to have to wait and take a flight, pay another $1,300, which Expedia will not uh, reimburse to me, and basically pay a flight uh, from Aereo, Mexico, directly from Canada to Mexico City to then Lima with a negative PCR result that I already had. And I even told them, like, look, here's my paper. I received my negative result from the lab or whatever, right, that I was negative. So, but even that wasn't enough. You know, they still wanted me to have them, right? And I was like, great, but guess what? In my last work, line of work, I did have an exemption for spiritual and also scriptural reasons, <laughs> but mostly spiritual and uh, yeah, spiritual reasons why I didn't want them. Very important to me. So anyways, and many other reasons too about some lies we're being told about and everything, right? So anyways, it was interesting. But guess what? I went through my paperwork and everything and I went like inside the cloud, right? I went inside uh, the encrypted cloud that I've saved online and I actually kept a photocopy of my uh, spiritual exemption that was approved on my previous work. And I showed them that and they gave me a waiver and they waived they were like, oh, sorry, sir, and everything for that, uh, for that reason, we'll, we'll let you in, no problem, after I, I show them my sensitive personal information about my exemption that I've had before. And they were like, okay, we'll make an exception. But guess what? I was lucky, okay? Because, well, I don't believe in luck, but still, <laughs> let's just say it that way, okay? I was lucky because when you look on the CDC's guideline website, spiritual slash religious reasons exemption don't work it's only medical ones that work so 
But anyways, so when all that happened, I could see 444 and everything. I was at the airport and I was like, oh my God, okay, yes. As I was like, my heart was pumping and I was like, thank you. Thank you, angels. You know, the repeated numbers, right? Angel numbers or synchronicities or whatever you want to call them. It's all the same thing, but it was the universe. It was my spirit guides basically reassuring me. He's like, no man, trust the universe. Don't stress, everything's gonna be fine. Everything is taken care of. And I was like, man, I know the truth is that you need faith, right? In it, but it's hard when you're being faced, right in your face, right in front of your face on some things that don't seem possible, right? Or when you lose faith all of a sudden. But guess what? I could see in the, these numbers and everything, I was like, okay, Nick, keep the faith. The universe got it handled, okay? And guess what? Yeah, so like I said, they, they've accepted. They've made a waiver for me and they granted me access to actually take the airplane. I was at the desk and everything after the checkout and I was like, oh my God, like, I could have almost not been able to go because the girl on the phone of Air American Airlines told me, yes, I was allowed to come, but in person and on their website, they say I can't. And the rules always change, so it's very confusing, right? Anyways, so yeah, that's my crazy story, my friends. But today, okay, I've been seeing crazy, crazy synchronicities. I don't know if you've ever uh, experience synchronicities okay synchronicities are quite quite magical okay it's when you see repeating numbers when you start seeing repeating numbers a little bit you know on different clocks uh, you know on friends phones on your own phone on uh, some displays somewhere you go on a receipt something you buy right whatever and you start to see and attract these number more and more that's the, the more you get in tune with uh, the spiritual world the more you actually start to see these crazy synchronicities and angel numbers and all that beautiful stuff. And I keep getting, especially today, I seen 1111 this morning, it was crazy. And like, I was like, okay. And I just keep seeing them, seeing them. I was like, okay, thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank you, uh, you know, all of my angels, uh, you know, angel guides, right? Uh, spirit spirit guides that are always watching over me and I sp and I've spoke to some uh, you know uh, spiritually very connected people and mediums and everything in the past and they all tell me the same thing all the time right that I have a lot of protection I have a and I know <laughs> I know I know I have a lot of spirit guides and a lot of forces actually protecting me but that's what happens the more you connect with the universe and you improve your faith the more you have faith in the universe, that's when the blessings comes, and that's where you get more synchronicities, more blessings, more what seems to be luck. But it's not luck. It's you need to have the faith first, and then the blessings come. So yeah, so craziest thing ever, man. Like, <laughs> can you believe it? I fought against the system to not have the pokey poke, and I'm, I still get my way, fly off of some cheap airlines because there's almost nobody flying while the airplane was pretty empty, to be honest with you. It was like you know, maybe, I don't know, one fourth or one fifth of all the seats were actually taken. That's what happens when you put a lot of pressure onto people that are flying. People don't want to fly, right? They just find it's, it's too much of a hassle, right? So they just don't do it. Well, that's why all the airlines had to actually drop the price <laughs> anyway so because of the, the restrictions that are a bit more severe I guess for the states for international travelers so yeah so I still got my way that's how protection I have that's how much protection I have my friends but it's not just me that's always lucky and everything it's all about faith the more you have faith the more you need the universe send you the signs and also it's good to increase your awareness meditate right now I haven't meditated much to be honest with you guys past two days because I don't know it's such a big intense change in my life that it's just a bit harder but um, you know I'm gonna get back into my routine as soon as I land in Peru and also I'll probably try to meditate a little bit here on the airport or something <laughs>
Yeah, so I haven't had a great sleep, but uh, yeah, my next flight, my friends, is departing to Miami in about, I don't know, six, seven hours from now. At 6 a.m. it actually departs, so I will have to wake up at 4.30 a.m. to probably board the plane around 5 and have a little something to eat and then head to Miami and then head, head out to Lima. It's crazy, crazy stories, my friends. Oh gosh, I love being connected to the universe, to God, to whatever you want to call it, to your spirit guides, to whatever, right? It's this intense and beautiful force of energy that you connect to. The more you have faith in it, the more you believe, you trust the universe, the more you're grateful, the more you embody that beautiful love and gratefulness vibration. All the blessings come and they seem to come out of nowhere. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's crazy how lucky I am. I can't believe I actually made it in the United States with the current laws they have as an jab. It's crazy. I'm lucky. <laughs> I'm not, well, no, I'm not lucky, but that's what I say to people that don't understand the spirit world. Oh, I'm just lucky, but I know that it's more than just luck. It's pure connection. It's faith. The more you have faith in the universe and God, the more He gives you. He, she, whatever, right? Because the universe, it's everything at all. It doesn't have a sex. Have a great day, my friends. And uh, next flight to Miami, Florida. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Peace. something people need to understand about this channel it's about many different things it's about spirituality it's about self mastery but it's also about waking people up it's also waking people up from their box shaking them out of their socks I shock people <laughs> and that's what I'm here to do I'm a healer but I almost I'm also a an alarm clock. <laughs> I'm here to wake a lot of people up too from the lies they're being told by the matrix. And I'm also here to help improve this world, heal the world through my words, through my awareness from things that I've seen. Don't have to agree with everything I say, but seeing another perspective may always be good for your own personal growth. You take some and you reject some, right? But at least, you know, it'll plant that seed of other possibilities that you may have not even thought of. Just something to think about. But yeah, my friends, I'm here to wake some people up. I'm here to heal people also, energetically, spiritually. And to also motivate people, inspire people to achieve their own dreams. But I'm, I work on so many different niches it's harder to always get the right people sometimes because people, it, it shakes them out of their core and that's what's needed to wake people out of the matrix. There's so many lies, okay? This is needed, okay? You need to hear truth. You need, well, from my own perspective anyways, you need to hear A different perspective than the mainstream. Just saying. Love you.